He uh, was whinging about me just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Ten past seven in the morning. We're in the creek, making, forging another creek. We decided not to bring the car. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna bring the car across this one? <laughs> give, give the trailer a good wash. All right. So there we go. Ooh, ooh, the, yeah, Jesus. There's a few holes there. Yeah, no, I just slipped. <laughs> I guess it's, it's going to be no holes barred. <laughs> <coughs> oh, yeah. It is rather refreshing, and I did need a shower. The only thing we're really not sure about is the level of crocodile activity. <laughs> so if we're staying pretty close together, the water is crystal clear. Halfway mark. Water's crystal clear, so we should be able to see the crocs sneak up on us. Actually, see a few fish swimming around here, Mark. You'd have your rod out by now, and the harness. You'd need the harness, <laughs> looking at the size of them. Now, the idea is, Andrew, yeah. if you fall on a hole, don't grab hold of the container, because <laughs> we'll get our clothes dirty. Okay. Wet. <sighs> oh, it's flat here. Flat. Flat. Black. <laughs> That's the shadow. Hey, don't leave me behind. Remember those crocs? Yeah, oh, I can't see where we're going anymore. Well, I just swim, hey? Swim it. <laughs> don't I'm tip that over. <laughs> it's got right. a little bit too deep. So Andrew's just going to finish the rest off. But how about this place, hey? Absolutely gorgeous. In the early morning light. Here we go, he's done it to me again. We're about 20 minutes into this walk. The grass is as high as an elephant's eye and the little brown mavericks are winking their eyes. A, Andrew's led us up the garden path. Believe it or not, this is a track to a, supposedly a very beautiful waterfall. Are we going the right direction? No. It's a bit confusing. So anyhow, we'll push on. We're pretty sure we're still in Western Australia. But as Andrew said earlier on, we are in the middle of the middle of nowhere. And we're alone. It's long grass. There's rattles and movement in all the field, in the grounds around us. It's scaring the hell out of me. But I have faith in my guide. At least this 30 seconds I do because I need him to get back. We'll see where we end up in a few minutes. 20 minutes later, still walking. And uh, yeah, we still think we're in Western Australia. But we can't be sure. Yeah. Less and less certainty that we are. What's even less reassuring is that Andrew knows the way back. But they tell us there's always a river somewhere. And I'm sure if we find a river, we'll be there. <laughs> Doesn't mean we're not lost, but we'll be there. Climb hasn't got any easier, but we'll push on. Can't be too far now. Well, it could be that we've arrived. So I've missed the turn off. Andrew missed the turn off. Just caught glimpses of an absolutely wonderful splendiferous waterfall into the distance. We're just making our way down now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a beautiful sandy white beach in the middle, in the middle of the middle of nowhere. It's pretty damned exciting. Apart from the fact that it took us fucking three hours. Taking about. I was about to say, in, in normal real world time, it's taken half an hour. <laughs> half an hour. Well, I thought it was longer, but what a place. Have a look at this. Beautiful, crystal clear water. This really does look like something out of a Hollywood set. It just looks too perfect. The sand, sculptured rocks, the colours of the cliff face in the background. Pan and Danish trees scattered throughout. It's really, really pretty. 
I just can't see. They said there'd be a Corona bar here. A Corona bar. <laughs> Some bikini clad girls with serving Coronas. That's all we need. It, it, it's got that feel, hasn't it? Okay, made myself up onto a bit of a higher elevation. Looking out across at the early morning sun on the rocks opposite, it's really, I, I really hope this video captures the feel of this morning. There's no one else here. We, we got away really, really early. Down to myself, just slowly move up. And I guess this is the, I mean, apart from the beautiful colors, this is the reason why this one place is popular. And it's worth the walk. You can see this little waterfall over there, but have a look at that into the background. And the pond swimming pond that Andrew's making his way up to now. Just, just beautiful. How do we do it? How do we get across? Oh, I think it's get your gear off here and uh, swim. Should have bought the four wheel drive. The little mule would have done it. Got to get across this expanse from here to there. 25 feet. Oh. There's me mate Andy, getting very brave. He's not worried about crocodiles. This man thinks he's Steve Irwin. Have a look at that waterfall. He's swum across the other side. Now look at this, there he is. Tucked away under that waterfall there, having a bit of a, a day's spa. You can just see him there, you see his red shorts. There he comes. Had enough, he's waterlogged now. Careful, 